I didn't think, you know, 10 years ago I'd get so excited over a little bit of pottery. As I've got older, I've got more nostalgic and more interested in history. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. The more little bits you get, it just adds to our understanding. That's why I like it. <laughs> Trapped in the thick anaerobic mud of the River Thames, countless sunken items from across 2,000 years of human activity on the banks of the waterway remain well preserved. Many pieces find new purpose. A community of enthusiasts search the shore daily for newly surfaced artefacts, and being special meaning of the detritus of a distant era. But as the banks of the Thames erode, the opportunity for Google the data glimpse history is fading also. For me, it's the closer you get to time travel, you're the, the, the next person who's picked up that artefact that someone's worn or made. So I particularly like things like pottery that people have hand painted and, you know, the history of that. Yes. Um, so mudlarking is where you go along the foreshore of a river, probably the Thames, that's where it's kind of come up most and you look for small finds and like evidence of human activity from the past. It's very important because there was a time when they didn't think that mudlarking really could add a lot to the history because it's so jumbled up. It's only recently they've realised that it's very important because if mudlarkers didn't get these pieces, they will just go out to the, to the ocean. So grab it while you can. No, you'll always find something immediately. I mean, if you look down here, straight away, these are um, cigarette ends, our equivalent of cigarette ends. So these are anything from 16th century up to Victorian. So like the pipe stem that you get, that this is basically what most beaches on the Thames are made of. Like forget mud, it's mostly this. I want to make like a, a spooky necklace where you string all the bits together. I'll do that at some point. So I found this today. This is a bone dice. Um, I found it near London Bridge. You can see that it's got these beautiful um, circle dots on each side for the numbers. And I've got lo loads of pins as well. I have, um, I bought a couple of Victorian pin cushions and then I put all my pins. Pins are littered the foreshore because from cradle to grave you would have been pinned into your clothes. And the last time I came was about five weeks ago and I already noticed how much the bank has eroded where it was full of mud and um, uh, tiles it's completely gone in the space of six six weeks completely gone there's going to be a lot fewer things to find because idiots like me keep coming down here it's it's kind of a double-edged sword it the faster it erodes the the more fines you're going to get but eventually the bank there'll be nothing left i think they i think they've estimated within about 150 years there won't be any more foreshore left our legacy we find coins but our coins are already rusting away so i think legacy for our generation is there's not going to be a lot of archaeology so um, it'll be interesting what they're going to be looking for vaping vapes or something you find those all over the place as well So you're going to be winning a million pounds with this competition then? <laughs>